In this episode of Mighty Car Mods, we are checking out Marty's Daily. No, it is not a Daihatsu. No, it is not a Subaru. In fact, I think many of you will probably be very surprised to see that actually it is in fact this. It's so wrong. What is it? It's so wrong. It? It's so. How mad are Evos? Yes, the Evo vs. Too Sexy battle was actually Marty's, <laughs> Marty's Evo. This is my 2009 Mitsubishi Evo 10. It's an all wheel drive Japanese sports sedan featuring a four cylinder, two litre turbocharged engine. This is one of the last in the Evo line. There is no Evo 11, unless you count too sexy. My one features a fancy twin clutch transmission, Brembo brakes, Recaros, and makes a reasonably good track car. The Evo line has a solid history in track racing, rally, hill climbs, drag racing, and they're even used in some countries as police cars. But this one is my daily and it's freaking awesome. Oh dear, Martin. How good is it? Are you prepared for the comfort? I still just can't get over it. I've been in this car a lot, Martin. Dude, I've got an Evo, and I've got this car. <laughs> That's my daily trick, it's an Evo. So Martin, here we are in your Evo 10. Uh, you guys may remember this little moment from a recent video. It's actually quite a nice looking car. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Mm. And that is because both of the Evos are yours, Martin. Yeah, both and the Evos in various amounts of Evo-ness. And you've actually owned this Evo for ages. I have owned it for ages. And you genuinely like it. It's my car, man. I drive it around because I like it. I'm not going to drive something I hate. It's so weird, though. Why is it weird? It's so weird. Are you comfortable? You're in a yeah, I'm comfortable. You've got a big buckety seat. That it's, it's a bit slow. we got boost. It's slow now because we're in Sydney and there's traffic everywhere. It's which just is, which weird. Incidentally, which incidentally is why I own this car. Why Part of the reason I own this car, one, right now we're doing exactly what this car is perfect for. We're toodling along being with 60Ks an hour, being bored, in traffic, yep. and you know, autoing away and whatever. And you know, like I like to drive Supergrounds, I drive it as much as possible, but man, the truth is I get run off the road in that thing. Yeah, yeah. Like people see it on the road and then they do 140 pass to try and get a selfie out the window with no seatbelt on. I find that a little bit like discouraging. Yes. And so I kind of thought, you know what? I need to get something that's like, a relatively sensible car, but I didn't want to buy a Corolla. Okay. And what I ended up with was a turbo all-wheel drive Corolla. Okay. It's just, it's just. Oh, here's a green light, Martin. Let's we can show everyone the, the performance. Oh wow. Uh, Martin, you here's the weird thing. You accelerated by that? Uh, no. Zero to hundred apparently in the fours. Well, I don't well, know how they got that number. But That's a Japanese version though, right? Like 100 octane fuel and stuff. True. Martin, here's the weird thing though. How many people out there own a Subaru and a Mitsubishi? None of them, right? It's a weird thing. It's like yeah. you can't go for the doggies and the rabbitos at the same time, can you? Well, you know can what, you? you know can what you it, own a Ford and a Holden? Do you know what it is though? It's also the fact that... I mean, you can. Just, but I'm just saying. The other thing is like, you know, I got on the Mitsubishi train with Too Sexy a while ago now. Like That was, that was quite a long That's time true. ago. And I was crap. You have a Mitsubishi Starion once? I had a Mitsubishi Cordia, it was my first turbo car. So yeah, I got a right. slight soft spot okay. for Mitsubishi turbo cars, which is the reason I ended up with Too Sexy as well. But also, like, I, I was talking all this crap about Mitsubishis and Evos, having never actually owned a proper one. That's what people do all the time about Hondas That's and Minis. It. That's it. And so I didn't want to be a hypocrite. And V8s. I didn't want to be a hypocrite, right? And be all like, you know, I know everything about Evos or. Or, or bagging on Evos without actually owning one and understanding it. And I, I, happen, I happen to need an automatic daily to you know, drive in traffic every day. Yeah. The fact it's stock, well, that's because I'm also trying for once to just drive a stock car and keep it stock and try and experience that and see what that's How's like. How's that working out for you, mate? Dude, I, I hate it. Yeah, good. I that's the right answer. It. Thank you very much. There are about two million oh. people who are on the edge of their seats now, mate. Would I have been happier buying an Evo 9 for similar money? I think the second we're on that track day, you would have just been, you would have been all over. Your car Evo nines right. are rad though, aren't they? They're like awesome. Six, seven, eight, yeah. nines, like they, yeah. they look rad and got a lot of respect from the people. And nines these, are like, nines so are much. like a, a razor sharp, you know, 
thing with all this cool technology. This here is just an all-wheel drive Polo GTI, isn't it? Yeah, but slightly better than the Polo GTI. The Polo GTI had some shortcomings. The technology... I don't mean it actually is for everyone about to go talk about engine stuff. I just mean for your purposes, that's what this car is. Uh, yes, it, it is the same purpose as Polo, which once every couple of years, it's like, cool, I'm gonna try and drive something, you know, normal. The Polo was, was cool in its own way, but it was... Was it? Nah, not okay. really. Um, but what I would say about this car that I do like is that, I mean, I've driven this halfway up the coast of Australia on a holiday, and like, it, it just handles all that stuff well, and being stock, you don't have to worry about running out of E85 in the middle of nowhere. Those kind of things, right, that, that can get a bit annoying. We go right or left? Oh, left. Um, those kind of things that can be a bit annoying, you just don't have to worry about with a car like this. And the truth is... Isn't the worrying about those things, though, the things that make it fun and an adventure? Well, see, but right now... I guess now, you've got super gramps for that. Man, you've got, to let, you've got to let me talk about the technology. Oh, really? So, right now, it's okay, I'm gonna, I've got to take off to go on this on-ramp thing. Are we in a sport mode And I can mode flick now, it into a sport mode, right, and then you. I can go, and it thinks about it, and then I can hit a thing and hit another thing and I'm like, cool, I've accelerated to the speed limit very quickly and now I slap it back into normal and I hold this button down which puts it back into D mode. Then I avoid this cyclist with my sharp handling and then I just, I cruise around. None of this is getting anyone who's into modified cars excited. Okay. Thank you, Martin. Thank you for sharing with us all your daily. Regardless of how you feel about my Evo, I reckon we should battle this versus your car. My Mini? I reckon okay. my Mini would actually smoke it. Do you not reckon your, it would? Not your Mini. Tay-Tay. Drift battle. Not Tay-Tay. You want to do a drift battle? Not Tay-Tay either, man. Your other car. Oh, my actual car? Yeah. My daily? Your daily. Versus this? It's time. Really? It's the most appropriately matched car. Really? It has to be done, man. Alright, you're on. And the winner gets? Box of Gay Times. Usual wager. Box of Gay Times. Done. Done. Gay Time. Boom! Next episode. I'll show you my daily, and then we'll battle just this robot. Which is the flapping? Which is the flappy? Stick paddle. both fingers in that flap, pull them as fast as you can, and flap. then press the button with the other hand. And then I just touch tap the, big, the big knob, and then the flap, and then the press the flick. The I don't like how it all jolts around when you start fingering it. It's um. Why does it do that? I don't feel like I've really nailed what's cool about this car. I guess because there isn't that much cool about it. <laughs> but it, can we please use that? No, it's no seriously like I don't want to I don't want to rag on these because they're actually like they're good and if you like fast cars and stuff they're good they're cooler than a GTI they're from some stupid gear hang on oh now we're back into normal mode let me put it in sport not sport mode hang on I just got to change my diff no that's snow mode don't need that in Australia wait that's automatic water spray I've totally made a mess of it there's so many buttons there are so many buttons give me a clutch and a gear stick and a Tank full of ethanol and a big turbo on a love and life. You got one of them, mate. I do. In the garage at home. In the garage at home. What's it doing? It's shifting gears. It's downshifting. I didn't ask.